Welcome gamers to Age of Wonders 4. My name is Daz Tactic. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the series. Hope you've been enjoying it so far. We're heading into the final phase. It's only turn 80-ish, um, which is good. We're doing well. <laughs> We're actually ahead of uh, where I thought we'd be at this point, to be honest. I thought we'd still be uh, sort of well, well and truly over turn 100 before we got to a position where we could actually challenge Arctica. But I think that just with the combination of um, us being left alone through the middle of the game and... Um, the other players at war with Artica has actually spread her forces out. Now, this is going to be a difficult, difficult phase over the next few episodes. Uh, we're going to be coming in in the next turn to lay siege to the capital. Now, we can see there that there's um, like there's two, there's a, a, a group of units in the middle here, um, a couple of uh, like a tier, a level seven, level six, a um, level four fire giant, uh, a few other sort of um, units as well two units in here but see, you'll notice that there's like some flashing little areas in through here this means that there's some hidden units in here as well now i'm assuming that Artica is in here because we will have seen her if we just go page up or page down we will have seen her coming through the choke points now she can't really get across this area so she has to come up past here if she's going to be going anywhere and we should be able to see it uh, because then they, the next step is that they have to go around this corner here and through our territory because they can technically... No, they, no, that one there is a block off as well. So if she is on her way across to help um, the other forces that she has in this region, then um, then she will uh, she will have appeared at, at, this, at this choke point here or in here. So um, so we're pretty sure that she's still back at her capital because we did actually um, destroy her some episodes ago, like as in send her into the void, which means she comes back to her capital. So she is at home, or she should be at home, uh, and we should be, she should be in one of those two stacks, I think, uh, unless she's already out and moving off, like she's come up through, the, um, through this area here and is moving in here somewhere. Either way, she's close to home. And so uh, and that's the, the, the trouble. I'll just go page down again and just go down to where she is. That's the, um, that's the access point there, the same access point. So these are actually two cities that were built almost on top of each other. Now, the, uh, what this is going to then mean to us is that uh, when we do come in, um, we're going to lay siege with our four units in through here. And they're all reasonably strong, as in they're all about the same strength. We've got a backup force over through here of different dragons and things like a couple of dragons, a few different types of units, um, and more dragons in through here. What we're going to be doing is ultimately moving them down to just sort of swap in and out. But when we lay siege, what should happen is two things may happen. Uh, they she they may think that they're strong enough to attack us directly. If that happens and we win, uh, then we're in an extremely good position then to win the game fairly quickly. What she could also then do is if there, if she does have other forces, I'll just go back up top again. If she does have other forces uh, close enough, I'm expecting that these will come rushing home. And so there's forces, some forces have already started to head west um, along this road, but we haven't seen them come this way. Then we see them come back again towards Heldon. And so there's, uh, you can see that there's, again, unknown groups in through there. And so she's got like a massive army that's been building up in this region. And so if, if they come streaming back to the, to the west, uh, we're going to need to somehow stop that because um, they'll be coming in to relieve the siege. Now, if the four, like if the groups that she's got at home and this group from the west appear, we're in trouble. So, uh, so that's we we do have to be careful with what actually does happen there. So, anyway, that's I thought I'd just give a bit of a rundown as to what's going to be happening in the, um, I guess in the in the larger, uh, you know, view of the game uh, for when we go in for this final st bit. There's the AI is very good at adapting, and in fact, um, the AI is good at at being able to time their their movement in uh, very very well if they if they sort of evaluate the threat. That's why. I'll keep the four there, but I also then have another group up in here. Um, not so much at this location, but in here. This is actually a reasonably strong group, but we also then have other forces that will be coming down to attack us. Like these here are, are sort of, um, we're at war now with, 
with pretty much everyone except for Obscurus, which is our, our ally. They've been able to hold off fa fairly well. They've certainly taken some uh, damage from Attica, uh, but uh, overall everything is sort of working fairly well. But we do actually have another force here with another hero, um, this one here. More dragons, pretty strong actually, this, this little group. I may, ugh, I may switch them back down. We're, st we're still building up the units as well. If we have a quick look at our... Um, actually, we've got a fair few that's not, not built. I was just going to say we're building everywhere. We're not building everywhere uh, at all, actually. We're going to need to uh, build some more. So Zessen, let's just go back into here and um, tell it to uh, to build. I think I'm going to build more uh, more dragons. Now, the game just did update. Actually, that's not wanting to play. Come on. It's just thinking. Uh, the game just updated it, it uh, like when I was, uh, before I started to do this one. And, and there was a massive update before I started recording. Uh, the changes for this update that you see coming in now, which was a big update, uh, and I, don't, I couldn't find any information. I think it just, it just appeared just as I was basically uploading it. But um, this one, it'll probably be a good month before, while you see, like, that it will have been up by the time you see this episode. Uh, just thinking of the timing that I've got with it. I haven't even started uploading yet. Oh, actually, I've started uploading, but I haven't processed even any of the videos yet. Come on, game. Come on, game. I'll just pause while we wait. Well, it's not looking good with this, so I think I'm just going to close the program. I'll come back in, but I'll at least I've given an update on where we are. Hopefully it'll work. Right, so I've uh, loaded the uh, game in again. I've, I've actually uh, restarted my computer. It's been about half an hour uh, with Windows updates. Uh, I've verified the files. There were two corrupted files in the in the Age of Wonders Force that set up, so they've been fixed. So hopefully we'll go in. Also, just as part of the summary, we were playing with like a random map, um, and so these are the random elements that have come through. I won't go through these. We've sort of covered those in other episodes. But anyway, let's just load the game in and see where we are. Hopefully it won't take too long to load and hopefully we don't end up with any other problems. <laughs> right, so here we are. Just go page up. And we'll just go straight to Zessen and see if we can build what we need to build in here. Good. Uh, yeah, it's getting there. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Good. All right, and I'll grab a Dark Knight there as well. Um, and we'll do the same over here. Now we, we are slowing down because we've got, got one more city than what we than what we really need to have. But that's just the way it's gonna have to go. Let's get another dark knight. Just get one there, that'll be okay. Um I will actually keep on grabbing more of the pyromancers. And maybe constrictors as well. Like the constrictors have been fairly good. It takes a bit of time. Whoops, I'll just get rid of that last one. I do have to be mindful of what's happening with my money. Um, that will that will be okay, but um, maybe that will do us for now. Actually, we've got our capital as well, or our old capital. We've changed our capital to Zessen a few episodes ago. Just go page down. So it's slavehold. And I'm sort of I don't know why, but I'm sort of feeling like the. Um, the Dark Knights are a good option. I think because they've got the automatic upgrades, like a couple of upgrades, uh, so they're, they're, they are a good option for us. Now, with negative 30, we're, we're going to be, um, this city here, we're in the process of releasing at this point in time. So that will, um, that's uh, in the, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, going to, essentially it's going to become a vassal. Um, you know, I wonder if we shouldn't keep this one get rid of one of the one of the smaller cities now look I'll keep it here I'll just I'll, I'll keep going the way we are uh, actually you know <laughs> I keep on thinking about this um, if I bought it because we it's the same turn I think that we're in so um, that when we got it if I keep this city it looks like it's not big enough. Like that's. It looks like it's. Um, looks like it's actually. Actually, we can go. It can go above. Can it? What's above it? 
Yeah, ultimately. Yeah, it can actually go up here. So we can actually keep on pushing it up. So that's um yeah, so we do actually have access to it. So I'll just get my sound up. If that one's selected, if we just go back up again. Yeah, we can keep on doing this. But every time we do it, we're... Um, yeah, we can just keep on doing this, so why not? And that looks to be about the limits. You know, I think I will actually re um, change what we're doing. Um, I think we will. We've got a group coming through here. This is the army from Flintwall. They're not too dramatic. There's another group, an NPC army from Seoul. I don't think I'll worry too much about those, but these will, we'll be able to deal with those with these units. Now these can all move. So I might move them down to deal with these, with this incursion. Let's just move close to the capital. And I think we will, I think we will release this city, Olmok. Um, we're getting the stronghold in two. Uh, see, I think the other one's already got a, a level four. If we, maybe we'll just again just spend a bit of time having a bit of a look and seeing what we've what these have got. Just abort that for a second. If we have a look at the structures, it's got the two. It's got a level three. It's got a level four. Yeah, this is already much, much better than the others. So uh, we'll make this one a core, a core one. Uh, so we'll um, let's go page up, and this will be the smallest of them, of the other cities. So we'll just go in into here and um, release as a vassal city. So we'll just go and do that. So that will then become a vassal, and uh, they'll then just manage themselves. But they'll still be, you know, beholden to us. So I think that that will work. Uh, create a new bounty, we don't need to do that. No governor set there, we can just bring this one across. So that's done. Um, tome of Severing, that's right, we have to now pick a new tome. I'll just pause and have a look through and then we'll just I'll just make a decision. I don't think it's gonna make much difference to be honest. I think we will just go with the Tome of Severing. It's a tier four um, you know, area. Um, let's just select it. I almost feel like playing a turn where whatever the one that it suggests to us, we just take. And we've got severing the severing golem. This is a um, tier five one. Cast a uh, to remove friendly negative status effects and enemy enchantments. Through a complex incantation. By administering minor astral siphoning mm, I might grab that one actually. Could be an interesting one. High level unit. Right, these guys here, just keep them where they are. And these, I'll just keep them where they are as well. Until we sort of see where there's another threat. Okay, finally, finally we end our turn. <laughs> and then we'll start the siege. Now these are miles away, I keep on saying that. These are, if you have a look at the at this uh, mini-map, um, we're down here in this orange area. Uh, that, so that's a long way away, we don't have to worry about that. But we do have to worry about the halfling, which is just to our north. Building another outpost. They're going to be big building a city there, I think. Now they're still moving south and and 
uh, this is um, Articus now turn. So there's, still, there's, there's a lot of them and they're moving down into where Obscuro is. Now it'll be interesting to see if they come back. You see there's a lot more that they've got there. We've got a few cities up this way. I haven't had it all their own way but there's a lot of units there. If they all come streaming back to the west uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So you can see them sort of moving across. Are they seeing the threat? Are they coming back? And if they do, what can we do about it? Yeah, they're, um, that's good. I'm glad I moved the other units down. Okay, so turn 80. Now we have a province being pillaged. We'll come back for that one through there. We've reduced the Dark Knight and um, in through this other location. Now we've got a fair few Dark Knights in here. So what I think I'm going to do here... Actually, we'll just go and grab another... Uh, grab another Dark Knight from there. Temple of the Goat Ear. Um, yep, yeah, that's because I clicked on it. That's all right. So we've got a good group in here. Now, this one can um, start to come down. Okay, it's got, we've got two turns to beat this other one. Now I should be building a road here. I think I'll do that. Yeah, let's just do this one. And have a road building. It's still on. this road down there's a cliff there that we um, that we can't really get over so I'll just leave that where that is just try to get that back to where it was I know it's easier for you guys uh, for, if I don't spin the map around too much <clears throat> so we'll be uh, finishing this one off next turn set production in through here now the armory will boost draft. Plus one starting rank for every tier one and two. Not that I'm really using them much anymore. I'll get the tendril labyrinth. Can grab spell jammers here. I don't think I'll worry about it though. Right, we'll leave that one actually, and we'll we will actually go and grab a. Um, Probably a Dark Knight yet again. I've, I've got a lot of dragons. All right, so now we get to see what's happening. Now, Artica may have like a, a ability to hide. We just don't know. And that's going to slow us down all the way through. Can anyone... Yeah, this one here can get through and do an attack. It's, it sort of wants to go along the road. So let's just go in a little bit. Well, not, oh, there's Artica. So we're seeing Artica here. Wow, there's a lot here. Uh, this is not going to be that easy, to be honest. They are going to come after us. Uh, have they got spell jammers? Yeah, at the back. We're going to need to, we're going to, need to start... Um, I can't uh -huh. get to the spell jammer in one go, but we will be wanting to get rid of it. This is going to make life difficult for us. I've got a mine there. I can start to just delete things as we go. Like I can sort of um, bring this one forward. And we'll pillage this one. I'm just going to keep everyone together. Uh, 
and then I'm sure they're going to attack. Yeah, so you can see there it's a risky battle. Um, it's very, very even. So let's go for it. 12 turns for this one. We're going to add siege projects. We're losing money, but that will change soon enough. So we'll um, add in the... Uh, which one should we do? Undermining the walls gives us another plus three. So it's 13 now. Um, and just to, if we've got the onages, that's another plus three, so we'll grab that as well. It does cost me a lot of gold. And <clears throat> I think we'll go with the. Um, either one of these, we'll just go that way. Alright, so seven turns until the breach. Now, they're going to definitely be attacking us before that, so uh, we'll just close it. Now, whether they do it immediately. And because they like it is a very very even fight, um, that's very very likely that they will do it straight away. Uh, these dragons and things. What we can do now is see, uh, you know, where can these guys get to? They can reach. They can reach to there. Just check this other one. Yeah, they can also just reach to there. So I can bring my forces pretty much into here. These are the two. Which then allows me to uh, bring them in closer uh, if there is a problem. These are just low level. I'm just keeping them sort of floating around. So I'll hide those. Yep, and they're hidden anyway. All right, well, this is going to get fairly interesting, fairly intricate. At least we know that she's here. Seven turns to, uh, to win the game. Now, will she come back? I mean, will she attack us, first of all? And if she do, if she attacks and is un, unsuccessful, then she will probably have to bring all those forces back from the, uh, from the east. We'll see when it's her turn. So this is um, Exalt the Just. Fair force that they've got there. Here they come. Yeah, I thought they would. They sort of have to. All right. So this is a risky battle. Um, so they've got less numbers than us, but um, uh, you know, overall we've got some we've got some very very strong units in, in amongst us. Um, they were demoralised from what? I'm not sure what the demoralisation is from. It'll be something that she's got there. What's that one there? Spell jammer. So enemy, uh, enemy spells cost plus 100% casting, combat casting points. So we have to be careful with this. Now, if we win this fight, we basically win the game. Uh, there's very little that they're going to be able to do to, co to come back from this. So, um, so we, gotta, we, we will take some damage, but we do have two other stacks that are, are now close enough to replenish whatever we lose. We don't want to be losing any of our actual units. I'm almost tempted to just auto combat because I think I'll win it. Um, just because we've got so many fire aspects to what we do, and a lot of those, a lot of theirs are quite weak in terms of actually, you know, getting fire back. They do have a fire giant, of course, which is going to um, be fairly difficult. But I think that we'll play this one out. So um, I feel that the auto combat would be interesting. Actually, you might just do it, and then and then actually do the manual combat just to see what actually happens here. They have some advantages because we're inside their territory. Yeah, that was see that wasn't bad. We end up just losing a few units, um, and I would be happy with that. 
to be honest. Uh, that would be a that would be a good result for us, uh, but we will actually retry it. Um, so, you, but you can see there, it's like our fire ability. What we started uh, with our plan initially has really, really paid off. So we'll see how what happens here if we if we just do a retry. And we do it ourselves. Because I, I think that this will be a difficult fight, to be honest. Like the AI is probably going to play it better than what I than what I will. I like that the spell jammer doesn't just stop all spells like it used to. Like there's so many little tweaks that they've made to the game. He's very good, very, very good. Alright, so um, they're attacking us, so we get to move first. Uh, we've got some cliffs in through there. There's the fire giant. Uh, a few things to sort of take note of. The, all of their different uh, units, this one here has got like a web, a webbing um, attack that uh, sort of gets groups. So we, want to, we don't want to be sort of in groups if we can help it. Uh, that's a tier three berserker. Uh, they do actually have a necromancer at the back there. Uh, they're all white born now, so they're all sort of undead. Uh, the fire giant isn't. This one has got a charge attack, but it also then has volcanic smash at range one and um, can also conjure a, a runestone at range four. So uh, summons a fire runestone into the target location. Now the fire runestone um, is a tower unit essentially, which which uh, deals out a, a fire blast. So that, that one will try to do that one. I thought it's funny. I thought I had a had a ranged attack. But it actually doesn't and it really only gets to there so we can sort of move up that's not going to be such a problem these are uh, just tier one units not really anything for us to worry about a white witch in there a skeleton mage back in through there just tier one these are tier two i think yeah they're just tier two in fact you can see the little number there there's Artica herself and then we've got um, some level sevens uh heroes in, the, in through that side i think we might start on this end with Artica. I don't think that they're going to be all that powerful. Um, so we'll start to sort of switch switch across into this angle. Um, let's just move over. I've got so many other units now coming up behind it's really I don't have to be too concerned now the demoralization minus five morale per stack um, okay so we've been demoralized slightly here pyromancer we'll just get a little bit closer pyromancer constrictor and you know, I might as well just keep all of these coming the same way So yeah, the spell casting, like instead of having 95, it's like we've got, uh, you know, 42 and a half. Actually, no, 47 and a half. <laughs> Can't do my maths. Uh, so we do want to start to f come up here this way. Um, I don't mind them targeting some of, some of my units. Now they, they will make undead out of anything that they kill, and that way I won't be able to bring them back. Um, huh? All right, that does shift everything across into this corner. Interesting to see what we end up being able to do here. They'll try to freeze us with the White Witch. I didn't even really have a look to see what they can what they can target. They can't target anything with that one so much. Um, Skeleton Mage is just simple. Okay, so uh, let's end our turn here.
So they're gonna buff each other up. Ah, oh, damn it, they froze a lot of us there. going to be able to uh, smash them. One is decaying, unfortunately. I probably shouldn't have, again, I'm, I'm going to probably have to replay this a few times. <laughs> <laughs> just not to completely screw up. The problem I made there was that I, I created an area where these guys could all be frozen. So, uh, that unit, is that one frozen? Yes, it is. Yeah, what have we got through here? Psychic gaze always hits. 60% chance of becoming stunned. Um, 23% for that one, 23% for that one there as well, 60% to stun those at the back, but we need to kill these off. Yeah, so I didn't look to, I didn't have a look to see what benefit the others actually had. Big hit there. Now we do have killing momentum on this one now, but I can't get into a position where I can actually kill off two of them with one go. Still got an ability here with this one. I can over channel every time I get something. I, I do pick up some casting points, which is going to help me. Um, I'll come back for this unit because we've got one action point. I can use sprint, which is going to give me more. Uh, it's going to allow me to then to attack this unit. Yeah, these are all frozen. Wow, that one's not. which is probably the one that's going to be the most dangerous for us. Although I wouldn't mind getting rid of this other hero as well. Yeah, we get two shots there. It's now burning. So we can use sprint and then attack this one again. We can, can, we can actually bring in some of these units. Probably the White Witch. Not very well constricted. So it can no longer move, can't do anything. I would like to damage that one if I could. I can do damage to both of those, I'll do that. Get two shots there at 65, I'll take that.
Now I end up in the fire here. I think I'll still just do it. Because we do actually have uh, pretty good fire protection. a little bit so let's just go for it now they're going to cast their web so we'll just get a little bit um, with these units out in front here their web on this group um, which I won't worry too much about just leave that one over this other side um, we certainly have the collection up in here to dominate this corner now we do actually have um, spell casting and I think I want to do it in here. Let's just grab a tentacle. Yep, that can't move. So they have to now wipe this one out before they can use this mage. Okay, we'll end our turn. So they'll kill off that, that guy there, he's gone. That's the pylon. Now we've got reasonable fire protection, so the, the pylon won't do a hell of a lot to us. made those um, those um, uh, dark knights into uh, undead so I'm not gonna be able to resurrect that yeah they're getting flanker shot flank shots there against those uh, dragons Dragon. Don't think I can save it now. This is how they're trying to get rid of that that um, that tentacle. God, this is such a good game. It's so so good. Yes, this one's still constricted. You can kill that one off. We might as well clean up this corner now. You yeah, can kill that one off with 90. Let's 
So we're getting, um, even though we've been demoralised, we're actually uh, we're getting help. Uh, we're getting uh, good good results. Now this one here. can kill that one off easily. It's sort of stuck there anyway. I think I'll take it against one of these. See if I can get that dragon out of there if I can. It's been stunned, that's good. So we've got the stunning. Um, we're inside their zone of control, so we need to break that. Cancels the retaliation. So it allows this one to move back. That dragon can kill that off. Move in behind, do a tail swipe, and do a lot of damage to both of these units. I might as well go after, start going after this one, I think. Yep, it's been constricted, that's good. Well, now we have to uh, start to deal with some of the others. Do the zone of control there. The retaliation's going to hurt. Um, so we need to uh, start to hit these. I'll use this one, which is going to then become the target on the edge. I'll take it. It wasn't constricted. Nothing else over this side, so now it's really just a matter of coming in and um, like damaging these. So we'll swing this one back in. It's down. Yeah, we can kill this one off with this dragon. This dragon is injured, and um, I prefer to move it away because. Um, like it's already gone up to veterancy level. So let's kill this off and then just get it out of there. So we can move back. Um, it's decaying. 10, 10 blight damage each turn. Now it's got that for three more turns, so it's going to be 30. It's got 36. So, yeah, need to bring this one back. We'll leave it there. It's, its day is done. And I want, I want to just keep this one locked in. Defensive mode. Now we've still got this constrictor. 
who could come back this way and lend support, but uh, we probably want to bring it back this side, actually. Or maybe even sort of not go too far down. I've got two constrictors here, actually. Let's think about this. We can drag that one back in as well. Yeah, I think I'll just I'll march this one around to the side. Keep it in the fire. And then we'll bring this constrictor around to the side. And drag this one back. It stops them from being able to use any of their actual attacks. Yeah, they use necrotize on that unit there, so the dragon the, the um, leftovers, we can't actually resurrect that unit that was there. Now, we've still got, like, we've got a lot of casting points. <laughs> we're sort of getting them back because um, we're killing off things all the time. I'm going to create, like, a target for, the, uh, for some of the units. So I'm going to actually uh, pop something in the middle here, another, another of the... Um, of the uh, tentacles. I think that's where I want to put it. Shall I put it there? heroes here that we need to get rid of. Alright, um, anyone still have a go? I'm just looking for the um, little dots underneath everything, but it looks like that's pretty much it. So now we have to start to um, strengthen this zone, uh, finish these off, but that won't, that won't be too difficult. Everything I think is gone. Losing a bit of morale. This will become a bit of a target. Good. I don't mind them doing this. I mean, it sort of it just stops them from attacking too many of my uh, forces. They've all been awakened, and they've. Uh, Brought in some zombies in there. Kind of got rid of that one. That gives her a lot of um, abilities. We might have lost that big unit there. Oh, yeah, they necrotized that as well, unfortunately. Well, that didn't last very long. That wasn't very good, that watcher. And that result wasn't, wasn't fantastic. constricted but it gets, allows that one to move out we'll see if this other dragon's down to 26 or if it's not losing quite as much Unfortunately, they've, they've got that one there. So we're down to, yeah, we are down to 26. Now I can kill that off with the dragon, so I'll do that. Did we take more damage? Yeah, we're down to 21. We're going to be have one point left over <laughs> at the end of this. All right, well, we need to... Come back up and finish off this. So 
tail swipe there. Kill that one off. I think I can kill that one off with other units anyway. Two units there at sixty two shots there at sixty-five. Come back this way. It's, uh, yeah, I've only got the two shots there. I'll start to bring this one in. Yeah, not enough. Kill that one, um, but it'll also hurt my dragon slightly. Uh, look, I think I'll do the frost fire. Sort of freeze up the other dragon. Well, before I do it, actually, in that case. I, don't, I can move this one out of the way. We can kill Artica. We can also come back through here and protect this unit. I think I'll go after Artica. Do it. Okay, they're being, becoming demoralised. Okay, we can kill Artica off in in a, in in a turn now. So let's get rid of her. Stop her from doing all the damage that she does. good. We've got killing momentum as well. I can't use sprint anymore. What I might do is I might bring in two spells. So I'll bring the over channel. I keep on forgetting to do it. And really there's nothing else for us to do. So let's just spin around this way. That one's now going to be running away. I'll leave that one in there. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't pick this one back up again. I'll, I'll see if I can. If I can, it'd be awesome. All right, these won't be as demoralized because they're far further away. Berserker. Dark Surge deals damage to enemies in a two hex cone. It's not really gonna help us that much. Uh, it'll do, actually it'll do that to all three of those. Let's do that. It's only frost did damage anyway. It's a critical hit. Enough to kill it. Tail swipe here. Thinking of bringing that across this other side. I could also bring it down here as well. If I take it in there, they're going to do too much damage with that fire giant. here with this unit. Um, we might as well finish these off I guess. Of 
That's not critical. Yeah, that should kill it. All right, that's that's got those. Which means I can I can move that one back in around. Start to uh, whittle away at this corner. Uh -huh. So I've got, I mean, two mines here. I mean, I've got to stop the incursion coming this way, but I also need to block. I can do that with this unit. I think I'll do it. I'm sort of tempted to actually go up to here and then use the constrictors to um, to do different things. I might, yeah, we've really got two ways we can do this with this unit. We've got another constrictor here. And ultimately, I can, um, I can bring that one down. That one's starting to, starting to, um, uh, you know, panic a little bit. You know, I think I will actually, I think I'll take the dragon north. Do the tail swipe against those two. Cancels the retaliation here. That one's getting ready to run. To take the damage, I think. This is now a bit of a, you know, what do we do with that one? We've got another spell. So I could use it here. Or I could use it here. And tie this one up. Decisions, decisions. Or I can put it here. I think this one's going to come around and then attack this one in the flank. I think I'll stop this from happening. that one which means I probably don't need to worry I can probably just do this attack now, if we can get some criticals here it may run if we didn't get them now these we can start to pull these uh, pull other units across if I, if I move this one down to this location One in actually. Um, do we want to bother? Probably not. Yeah, it's going to run now. So that's no longer gain. It's now routed. <clears throat> right, and we can still launch another spell. <laughs> I will do it in here. Only 29% chance to constrict that one, 49%, 49%, let's, um, let's, uh, let's go for, let's just kill this one off. It's going to make the others, uh, their uh, morale is, this one's got, still got very, very good morale, as does this one. Sure, where it'll end up. 
cleaning up behind us. I don't think I want that. I could bring this one across into one of these other locations. It resisted the pull, unfortunately. Right, so that's running. Um, I've done the overcasting. I think I don't think we've got any other units that have got an ability to do anything left. So let's just end our turn here. So got two heroes on the map and a fire giant. Yeah, they're going to go after that constrictor. Killed off. I killed off one of our, our um, units. It's funny. I, I didn't think it would be able to do anything if it was trying to run. It's been constricted, so it can't move. Well, not that it will matter anyway. suffered a bit. All right, well, we're getting close now. So I can smash this one. Now, I, I don't have sprint, but I will actually do this damage. What's it doing with their morale? Nothing much. Restore that unit. I might as well do it, I think. I could heal that dragon up. I won't, won't quite kill that one off. I keep on blocking these in uh, with more, with another one of these. tentacles <laughs> a lot great that's been constricted can't move now we can kill this one off we've still got this unit here that we have to um, deal with Is it shield? Oh, the dragon went as well. Um, all right, we're going to have to heal that one up. I'll just see if the restoration here will actually do. If we if we can bring the other one back. Yeah, there's nothing there. If, if that dragon is the only one we can do this with. So we'll just move up so we can do that next turn. Dragons. Mm. We can start to uh, target these as well. This is a support unit. Now 
We've got a flanking shot there, which will almost kill it. I'll do more damage this way. So then I've got the kill. Oh, that one still won't kill it now. Because it went berserk. Well, bring this one back around. Uh -huh. Oh, we're immobilized. Oh, that's right. We've got immobilized by that other that other unit. It's been immobilized as well. Ah, oh, it's got steadfast. Okay. That's why it wasn't didn't get killed. Ah, right, okay. Still poisoned for one more turn. We're down to 11, so we will be down to one with this unit. <laughs> so we'll just stay where we are. We don't have any support units. Nothing much we can do with this one. If they can kill that one off, then this one can run away, but I don't think it really can. There's not really much left from their side. That one can still move. Well, all you can do is just bolster the defense of those around you. Okay, next unit. Just leave it where that is. Yeah, we've got uh, this unit here. Can actually do some attacks. Um, oh, well, I'll just go after this hero. Thing. I don't want to bring this one across this other side just yet. Just bring that one in. The Berserker can still do some damage there. Pylons in over those runes, but this is pretty much the turn, the end turn now. There we are. All right, so we're down to just essentially four units. This one's dead. We should sort this one as well. Yeah, 
know, with the wet, we're sort of putting out the fires that we start. This one's getting ready to run. Yeah, its morale is low. Let's take the, the dragon in behind it. there no nothing there it's been constricted so it can't move might as well kill this one off so what I might do is I might just bring in an elemental Elemental there, Stone Spirit, which can still kill this unit off. That may be enough to get this still run. Not quite. Okay, all these constrictors. So we're, okay, we're actually okay here. <laughs> this one's down to one hit point. Um, so it's going to be essentially the same as this one, uh, but this one won't have died, which I think means that this one gets experience, but this one doesn't. I think that's sort of how that one will then work. Um, in the meantime, we just keep on smashing this. Should have thought that one out a bit better. <clears throat> this dragon's taken a bit of damage. So I think I'll just bring it, I'll keep it away from this for now. That's about it, really, from everyone. We do have another spell that I can use. I just got the dra the giant left. Um, it's already constricted, so I don't really need to do anything else. It's not a lot happening against the, the because we've got the fire protection with those dragons. This thing doesn't get to do much. else we can do there's nothing else we need to uh, resurrect I mean not that we can anyway we've, uh, we've only got two units in here that could resurrect well that was again was about the same as what the AI did ultimately big big battle very important battle actually we did better than the AI yeah we didn't suffer as much damage um, okay this is very very controllable now 
Uh, they've only got like three units back in through here, so we'll um, we'll close this one off. So we did do better. <laughs> Our expertise now are they going to come back, or are they just going to give up? Arctic will come back in three turns. Now they're still heading, still heading to the east. Interesting. Unless they're collecting their forces to come back west. Like they know that they've got seven turns. We win the game. Well, um, I think we're pretty much out of out of time now, guys. So I'm just going to go back into that corner. So all we have left at the moment is a level seven, who I think may have escaped. No, no, they, we got rid of everyone. Like all of the stuff that actually happened, we got a lot, lots of information into here. Hero leveled up, ruler leveled up, Arctic was drawn into the void. Remains, uh, Thomas was captured. Um, yep, uh, all gold was captured. More remains back and through there. A signature skill is now available as well. God, I just like the little things that they've done with this game. It's um, very, very cool. Anyway, I think I'll leave it here, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next exciting episode. This was a long one, but this was probably the most important battle that we're going to have to sort of contend with. Um, we're going to have to go through and pick up all of the units that need to be replaced with these and move these back uh, for uh, for healing. So that will be sort of what we end up doing. Um, we'll probably end up, because we now have a bit of time, we'll get rid of the spell jammer. Not that it had any real bearing with that last battle. Uh, there won't be much of a fight left uh, once we actually come back in to do this one. So, um, yeah, we're doing, we're doing very, very well. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.